Have you ever wondered why protein is such a big deal for your body? Well, it's not just about muscles. Protein helps build, repair, and maintain all your tissues. It is also essential in fighting infections and healing wounds. But here's something you might not know. How much protein you need can change based on your age, sex, and overall health. And while you can get protein from both animal and plant sources, too much of it can actually stress out your kidneys. Imagine them working overtime to get rid of all that protein waste. If you have kidney disease and aren't on dialysis, you want to go easy on the protein. But once you start dialysis, it's a whole different story. You'll need more protein to keep your blood levels balanced and stay healthy because dialysis helps clear out that extra protein waste. So stick around because in this video, we're exploring the best and worst protein sources for your kidneys. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more valuable health tips. Before we begin listing, let's talk about how different types of proteins affect your kidneys. Plant-based proteins like beans and nuts are easier on your kidneys because they produce less acid in your body compared to meat and dairy proteins. Too much acid can harm your kidneys, so it's necessary to choose wisely. Animal sources like red meat and processed meats are packed with sodium and saturated fat, which can increase your risk of kidney disease. On the other hand, plant proteins contain healthier fats and less sodium giving your kidneys a break and helping to prevent kidney problems down the road. Now that we've covered the basics, let's talk about the best protein sources for your kidneys. 1. Whole grains Whole grains like oatmeal and barley are a fantastic choice, especially for kidney health. These grains are a great source of dietary fiber. Just a half cup serving can provide anywhere from 1 to 6 grams. The best part is they're naturally low in sodium, with most whole grains offering about 10 milligrams or less per half a cup. Now, you might be wondering about potassium and phosphorus, especially if you're managing kidney issues. Whole grains can indeed have higher amounts of these minerals compared to refined grains. But here's the interesting part. The phosphorus in plant-based foods isn't fully absorbed by our bodies. This is because phosphorus in whole grains is bound to organic molecules, primarily phytate, and requires an enzyme called phytase to be released and absorbed. Our bodies don't produce phytase, so when we eat cooked whole grains, most of that phosphorus stays bound and isn't absorbed, making it less of a concern. Most whole grains contain less than 200 milligrams of both potassium and phosphorus per half a cup serving, making them a great option for those with chronic kidney disease, CKD, those on hemodialysis, or even those with kidney stones. Whole grains can also help with bowel regularity, blood pressure control, cholesterol levels, and blood glucose control. If you need to be mindful of potassium, you can choose lower potassium whole grains and control your portions. We've covered this topic in detail in our video, Best and Worst Grains for Kidneys, so be sure to check that out for a deeper dive into which whole grains are a solid choice for your kidneys. 2. Beans and Legumes Beans belong to the legume family, which includes dried lentils and split peas. A cup of beans provides 41.3 grams of protein, making them a good choice for plant-based protein. Since beans are plant-based, the phosphorus and potassium they contain aren't absorbed as efficiently by our bodies as those from animal sources or additives. This is good news for those managing kidney health, as it reduces the burden on the kidneys. A recent study looked into the relationship between bean consumption and kidney health in rural adults. Among the 20,733 participants, 2,676 were identified as having CKD. The study found that participants who ate more beans had a lower prevalence of CKD, even after adjusting for other factors. Beans contain high-quality protein, polyunsaturated fatty acids, carbohydrates, and fiber. They also contain beneficial phytochemicals like isoflavones, phytosterols, and lecithin. These components can help reduce inflammation, oxidative stress, and endothelial dysfunction, offering unique kidney benefits. Adding beans to your diet not only provides excellent nutrition, but also supports kidney health in multiple ways. So, don't hesitate to add more beans to your meals and enjoy their numerous benefits. 3. Soy Products Soy products like soy milk and tofu can be incredibly beneficial for people with CKD, those undergoing dialysis, and kidney transplant recipients. Soybeans provide high-quality plant protein and unique isoflavones, such as genistein and daidezine, which offer various health benefits for health issues related to hormonal imbalances. They could serve as an alternative therapy for conditions like breast and prostate cancer, cardiovascular diseases, and even help in easing menopausal symptoms. Soy protein has a unique amino acid profile, 
and includes soy peptides that can help with high blood pressure and cholesterol. Animal research shows that soy protein can reduce proteinuria, which is excess protein in urine, and slow the progression of kidney disease. For instance, rats on a soy protein diet showed significant improvements in creatinine clearance and a decrease in proteinuria compared to those fed casein, a protein found in dairy. While more studies are needed to fully understand how soy affects humans with kidney issues, a meta-analysis of several studies did find that soy intake was linked to lower proteinuria, reduced serum creatinine, a marker of kidney function, and even lower levels of inflammatory markers like C-reactive protein. Adding soy products to your renal diet is something worth considering. 4. Fish Fish is not only a tasty source of protein, but also low in saturated fat. Just a 3-ounce portion, which is about the size of a deck of cards, packs around 20 grams of protein, making it an excellent choice for maintaining a balanced diet. As kidney disease progresses, your doctor might recommend limiting your protein intake, but fish can still be part of a healthy eating plan with some adjustments in portion sizes. Recent studies have shown that omega-3 fatty acids, found abundantly in oily fish like salmon, sardines, mackerel, and herrings, as well as in shellfish such as oysters, mussels, and crab, may actually lower the risk of kidney problems. Interestingly, this benefit isn't as strongly associated with plant-derived omega-3s. So, whether you're grilling up some salmon or enjoying a seafood stew, incorporating fish into your diet can be a delicious way to support your kidney health. Next, let's talk about the worst protein sources for your kidneys. 5. Processed Meat Processed meats have earned a bad reputation in the health world for good reason. These meats, like hot dogs, bacon, pepperoni, jerky, and sausage, undergo salting, drying, curing, or canning processes, which not only enhance their flavor, but also increase their sodium content significantly. Processed meats are often loaded with salt to preserve and make them tastier. This makes it challenging to keep your daily sodium intake under control if you regularly consume these foods. So, what's the better option? Instead of reaching for processed meats, try home-cooked alternatives. A carved chicken or turkey breast, or even a boiled egg, can give you the protein you need without all the added sodium and preservatives. 6. Dairy Products If you're big on dairy for your protein fix, there are some things you might want to consider to keep your kidneys in check. Dairy products, while delicious, come with a few issues. They pack a hefty dose of potassium and phosphorus. But don't worry, you don't have to give up on milk altogether. Dairy alternatives like rice milk and almond milk are much lower in potassium, phosphorus, and protein, making them perfect substitutes if you're on a renal diet. Now here's something that might surprise you. Even though we often hear that milk and dairy are essential for strong bones, too much dairy can be harmful to your bones if you have kidney disease. When your kidneys are damaged, they can't handle excess phosphorus well, leading to high levels of phosphorus in your blood. This can pull calcium from your bones, making them weak and more prone to fractures. So, while it's okay to enjoy dairy in moderation, it's smart to balance it out, especially if you're looking out for your kidney health. Swap in some tasty alternatives and keep those kidneys happy. 7. Red Meat We know what you might be thinking. Didn't we just cover meat? Well, not exactly. There's a big difference between red meat and processed meat. Red meat refers to unprocessed muscle meat from mammals, such as beef, lamb, pork, and veal. On the other hand, processed meat undergoes treatments like salting, curing, smoking, or adding chemical preservatives to enhance its flavor and shelf life. Now here's the thing, red meat consumption can increase the production of uremic toxins by gut bacteria, such as endoxyl sulfate and pcresyl sulfate. These toxins are linked to a higher risk of cardiovascular issues. For those with CKD, cutting back on red meat could be a smart move to reduce cardiovascular risk and potentially slow down kidney disease progression. Plus, red meat and other animal protein sources pack in saturated fat, cholesterol, iron, and salt, which can all pose health challenges when consumed in excess. They also contribute to an acidic load in the body. So, while a juicy steak or a pork chop can be delicious, it's important to consider the potential impacts on your health, especially if you're managing kidney health or cardiovascular concerns. Not getting enough protein can lead to malnutrition, which is a concern at any stage of kidney disease. That's why it's helpful to talk with a kidney dietitian. They can help tailor the amount and type of protein that's best for you. For people with CKD, going for protein sources low in potassium, phosphorus, and oxalates is a good move. It helps manage your condition better in the long run. Thanks for hanging out with us. 
If you found this helpful, give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more personalized health tips just for you.